So welcome guys. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to show you how to make Kenyan chapatis. And uh, I'm joined here by Brenda. Hello and guys. Kelsey. Hi. Mm -hmm. So let's start. So um, today <clears throat> we're going to, we have written some ingredients for us to keep track. Usually we're going to start off with five pounds of flour. And this is the brand the that we use. We use gold metal. Um, after the flour, flour, make sure you have one liter of warm water. Make sure you have a tablespoon of salt. That's our uh, water. Our water, our salt, a tablespoon of salt, and three tablespoons of sugar. Um, another thing to also to remember is to also have one tablespoon of olive oil. And here you can see all the ingredients we have used. Line that. Yes. And for today, uh, on our cooking oil, I just put some here, so this is for convenience. So uh, this is still, still the olive oil. oil, but we just decided to place it into this bottle so it's easier to use. So this, you can go back into the pantry. Okay. So let's put all our ingredients here. Kelsey, okay. you can put some water there. Okay. Brenda, you can take the... So many? here I'm dumping the water. And then you need to the spoon. There we After we dump the water, we're going to now do a tablespoon of salt. For this one. All right. And then we're going to do some cooking oil. And then so three oil. spoons of sugar, correct? Yes. So uh, sugar. We have sugar here. And we keep our sugar in a small jar glass. Yeah. Move the flour so you guys can see better. Okay, so it's three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three. And uh, what follows? We need the one teaspoon of olive oil. Yes. Mm-hmm. You do the tablespoon, Kelsey. Teaspoon? Teaspoon. Okay, oh, so you guys, this, make right? sure to always make sure you know the just difference. Just half of it for a teaspoon? Okay. Yeah. Make sure you know the difference between your tablespoon and your teaspoon. A tablespoon will be this big, a teaspoon will be this small. So there's a difference. Yep. And then we need some salt, a teaspoon of salt. So now we have our teaspoon. That's good. Perfect. So the next thing, uh, we are going to start putting in our flour. Okay. We'll be putting little by little as we, we start. start. Our water is not too hot. It's just warm enough so that we don't get burned. So uh, let's all clean our hands. Okay. Yeah. It's always important to always wash your hands. Good sanitary conditions. Mm -hmm. I'll just take away some of these things. Mm. Oh, this one. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And then we just start with it. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to be adding some flour little by little into the bowl. Maybe I can add for you a few mix. Okay, perfect. Mm. And then I'm going to mix it. After we made our dough, we left it to settle for about 45 minutes. We covered it with a plastic thin film. And the reason for doing this was to let the gluten settle so that it's easier to mold into the chapati, the shape that we want. So 
the next thing girls we are going to start making our pieces those small pieces that now we're going to call chapati so this will be done by us taking into the size that you we want um depending many times like in kenya we use it when you have visitors so if i know i'm having 100 visitors i'm actually going to make it really small but for now we're just making for family we just want a good size that a person can either just eat one and it's enough if you make them too small they will eat they'll come back five times so why can't we just <laughs> hide it up all together so i think this size is good enough and i am going to because i don't want it to stick on me and i will put it here i roll it so i will add some little oil just to give me a little bit of a uh, small layer or something a layer you know layers like open book mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what i mean by layers after it's cooked so you roll it again into a piece of log and then you roll it again into what a donut a cinnamon roll oh yeah. yes yeah. <laughs> and then we make our final but some people do they flatten it up they add more oil they, they roll it again they flatten it up so if you want it to have so many layers then you have to roll it many times put oil make a, a log put it back again you know something like that but i don't want to use so much oil so i'll just add like what i've done just once and then from there i make my final chapati I'm not usually so good at making this thing to the round. Some people can make it really long, round and really thin. But uh, I really, maybe I don't have the patience or I don't mm -hmm. know how to do it. But it doesn't matter. The size doesn't, the shape doesn't matter. Okay, my little chapati is well done. And so we put it here and get an make another one. The reason we are trying to accumulate some of this is because once we start cooking, we can't stop. So you make at least a good number and then you start cooking. Mm. So, Kelsey, I'll let you do this one. Okay. So make sure it's all wet. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make it into a circle. Brenda, you can also do another one by using just this. The table? Yeah. And flip it. Okay. It doesn't stick. If it starts sticking, you know that's telling you put some uh, flour. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not supposed to stick on this and it's not supposed to stick down there. Okay. Because you won't be able to lift it up. Yeah, so that's good. And so when you put, you want the whole place to be. Okay. Have a lot of flour on yeah. it. Not too much, that's good enough. Like okay. this one you don't do until when it sticks because it will not come out. It will destroy the whole thing. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. The same there, Brenna. Some old flour there. Do I do the oil now or keep rolling? Oh, that's okay now. Don't make it a bit too, too. <laughs> when you see it's giving you too much problems, then you know it's enough. Okay. You put it there. Okay. Okay. And you don't want it to be too, too thin, that you start to, it becomes too transparent because okay. it will stick on the table. Okay. And what, for me to make it easier, oil. I tend to just flip it back and forth. Okay, yeah, so flip yeah. it many times. So then it doesn't really stick. I think I need some of this. When it's time to flip, 
No. Wait, you already it. have enough here? Yeah. You just flip right. it and then, yeah, yeah. and then you just uh, rub it in so that it will not stick. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. I can see you're enjoying it. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you're cooking. Are you on? Yep. Yes. Hey. Don't destroy our video. So, <laughs> we're, in, we're in production. And once you get a good size, Kelsey, you just place it, find a place to put it. And okay. Put it. No, you're not Brenda. I didn't know you knew. <laughs> oh. Of course I knew, Mama. I just don't like cooking. <laughs> I just keep quiet to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's make one final one. Then we go to the cooking process. Oh, okay. yeah. And then we'll switch to the next portion of what we're making. Yeah. We're just making a couple so you guys can get a, uh, get a feeling of how long it takes usually. So far we have about... How many? Did he eat really too much noise? We'll have a total of seven so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. so far we have seven. And these can produce about between 20 and 30 rolls, yeah. Let me do this one. Okay. Is it tiring? It's ready? harder, yeah, it's harder. <laughs> Another thing I do, I also grab the. Uh, but if it's, if it's hard, because I'm trying to encourage Americans to start eating these chapatis. Mm -hmm. So if it is hard, what I have used to in the past, uh -huh. and when these people were lazy, I used to use this and I used to find it. The more pancake fun. maker. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so I don't want to waste too much. Let's see. And before we put it, if it's sticky, always just roll it into the, do the dust to help make it less sticky. I don't know. And you just shape it into a small little ball, place it right Wait. into it. So I put it here. I don't know if this is going to do it, but I use, uh, and then I put some flour. I'm going to it a little bit. And then I put it there and put some, anyway, I can just do this. And then I put this, and do this. You need to cut this so that it fits nicely, but because I'm doing in a hurry, I just put it. Then, <clears throat> and mind you, we always use saran wrappers. We don't use, um, yeah. Yeah, so. Oh! It, it comes so out good. flat, yeah. but I use the long piece, so. But usually it will come out looking flat like this. Yeah. That looks so good. And when it's like this, I can just come here and just just a touch, small touch. But usually if you use it wet, you don't need to bring it here. And I just do this. That is the perfect shape. Yeah. And I'm done. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> What are the other ways you can use the camera? Uh, sometimes I use the zip lockers for food. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I cut one, I cut like into two. Uh -huh. So these are our chapatis. I've made many of them. And the girls now are experts. They're even talking about being competitors of Pizza Hut. <laughs> yes. Basically, but, so my fellow Americans watching. Yes, my fellow Americans watching. These are so much better than tortillas. It takes about like five minutes to make the dough and then to just press out your tortilla and then boom, you're done. It's done. Such a healthy alternative. And now we're going to show you guys how to like to transfer the dough that we just uh, roll out into our frying pan. So stay tuned. And uh, this is the chapati is the main food of uh, Kenya. If you're planning to visit Kenya, please just know that we sell a lot of chapatis because that's going to be your main food mm -hmm. and like them, please. Or else so, you're going to be starving. This is your <laughs> if you're going to Africa, especially Kenya, here you can learn from us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can put it here. Alright. Time to add the 
once when they are ready, we will start eating. Okay, so yeah. how do you know when it's ready, Mama? Um, that's a good question. I just know when it's ready. <laughs> okay, so for those that don't know when it's ready, I always give it about five minutes to cook. Or when you see a little sizzle. So, when I do like this and it's giving me smoking and all that, then I know the, the oil is ready. It, yeah, but as you see, it's not doing any of that, so yeah, it's, it's not so ready. Quiet. So this is already smoking and all that, so it tells me it's actually ready to start uh, bringing in chapatis. I have reduced the heating to low, so we need that one as well. And this is how I pick them up. Just okay. put and flap them on your, on your palm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, in Asia, I've seen the way they make chapati. Uh -huh. They make a roll like that, and then they just start flipping. Oh. You see the way it's just enlarging itself as you, you, you yeah. flip it? So that's what they do. They make something like that, and then they use their hands just to make it. Oh. To make it like really. Even? Yes. Circular. Yeah. <laughs> but just beating it up like that. Yeah. You see the way it's now big okay, enough? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we need to start checking it to make sure it's not over. Oh, we made our own. Yeah, it looks like tortillas. It does look like tortillas. I'm gonna say we made our own tortillas. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you need to check on that to make sure it is not burning. like this was of, of a bar, it is like burning here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So should it be brown or should it be this color? A golden color. Yeah. yeah. So just continue flipping until it's ready. Oh, flip it again? Yeah. So then both sides are just cooking. I think I'll add the fire with it. This bubbling is actually really good. It's good? It tells you it's, it tells you it's actually cooked there. Okay. So this side that I'm not bubbling around, that I have problems with. Uh huh. After I'm squeezing oil. Oh, Thank you. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no. Never press anything on this when it's folded like this because it will be spoiling it. Okay. Yeah, so when this one is out, take it out. Okay. Yeah, so can you turn that one? Flip it over. Flip it over. Mm -hmm. And then you turn it flat and this other part. If that is hard, you use the, the brush. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, apply some oil. We usually put oil on top because it cooks from the bottom. So if you put on top, it starts. It helps it. Ah. Mm -hmm. the Freddie, what are you doing? Doing tricks. <laughs> so we can show the behind the scenes. Excited. 
also featuring my mom. I don't know how to cook, so she's teaching the blood sugar. Teaching us how to cook brandy. No, I'm just trying to get some vlogging footage. Ooh, that's a I tried to, I am, uh, accidentally called it a paintbrush. A paintbrush? Yeah. Okay, you guys look and then you flip it. Just think of like pizza, like you're pizza. making pizza dough. Mm -hmm. Or a tortilla. It looks a lot like tortillas. So the one, the stuff that's in the middle right here, that's the cooked stuff. Right here, oh, right here it is still cooking and then right here it is also still cooking.
Indian friends, I know you guys know it as parantas. So whatever whatever words make it easier for you to know what we're basically cooking. A chapati is different from a tortilla because tortillas are usually thin, but a chapati it's mostly uh, it's soft. I don't know how to explain it until we do a taste test for you. It's just made from. It's basically the same thing. I think a tortilla is less thick. Less thick, basically. I think a tortilla. Thin. Yeah. I think so. Cause these ones are pretty thick and it's pretty soft. And tortillas, you can eat them without like. And they're really them. thin and like flimsy. Yeah, and thin and flimsy. It's very tasty. Mm -hmm. So now we have finished all of our chapatis. We're now making some. Is this salmon? Yeah. yeah. Some salmon. Uh, we, none of us know really how to cook fish, so we're calling in one of the experts that live in this home, and that's my sister. So first thing we're going to do is get an air fryer, and you're going to just add all your salmon into it, and, and then we, wait for further instructions. Yeah. Yes, and we'll just going to wait for further instructions. But so far. It's Thank you so much for staying with us and I hope you've learned something. Whichever is your way of making chapatis, I hope you've had some fun. Otherwise, most importantly, I really hope that you too have got something to eat today.